Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I was thinking a lot about what to say because I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot recently with this sentence, which is, originally I had that in mind, but it turned out like this instead. Nothing is going as planned. But I really don't know how else to put it because it's like a little disclaimer, you know, that I had grand plans envisioned. So, looks as if I am here again, repeating myself. Originally, what I had in mind was a simple piece with dramatic shadows. I thought I had a pretty good understanding. Maybe good is an overstatement, but at least a basic knowledge of how light and shadow works. Boy, was I wrong. Silhouettes are so hard to deal with, and I'm not even sure where the light is coming from halfway through the painting. The original piece had no romance inside. It was supposed to be themed around our shadow self, something Carl Jung the psychoanalyst touched upon. He calls it our uncivilized, raw, primitive side of nature. I think we all have a shadow self. It is generally made up of the parts of ourselves that aren't as pleasant as our better traits. At times, I'd like to think that I'm God's gift to mankind, but let's be real, I'm also flawed and human after all. But there are actually people who lack self-awareness and instead project their own shadows onto others, convinced that everyone else is the problem, not them. Having a shadow isn't exactly a bad thing, we just have to embrace it instead of suppressing it to heal it. I'm probably rambling on now, but psychology has always been a passion of mine, so here's something I thought was interesting. Jung didn't feel it was just individuals who had shadows. He also talked of collective shadow, where people united their shadows in groups or societies and saw this as a very great danger to civilization when the collective shadow was projected. An example of the collective shadow at work would be the Holocaust, where people united their hatred of one race and the end result was a great tragedy. Before I take a dark turn into brainwashing and igniting the shadow, we are going back to the painting. So anyway, my grand plans of this light and shadow psychological battle between good and evil fell through. Hence, I've decided to throw in a little romance. Fail-proof way to salvage your painting. Do I like this? Could be better. Saving Grace is the middle part of the rose in the vase and it's shadow that is starting to grow on me. Wish I did a better job on the silhouettes too. However, this is probably something I would re-explore again in the future. Regardless, I hope you like this piece. Hence, without further ado, let's begin.
Take your summer, say you're more 